We're taking a look at number 31. Use a graphing utility to graph the curve represented by the parametric equations and indicate the orientation of the curve. So the parametric equations are x is equal to e to the negative t and y is equal to e to the 3t. And I've entered those two parametric equations into cell 1 in Desmos as an ordered pair. And I use the letter t so that I have a set of parametric equations and using the parameter t. Uh, but what makes this a set of parametric equations is entering the two equations as an ordered pair. So now you have to tell Desmos what range of t values you would like for it to use to graph your set of parametric equations that were just entered. I'm choosing to graph my set of parametric equations from t is equal to negative 2 to t is equal to positive 1. And when you do that, this is the graph that you get. So you can see that the graph, uh, it, the graph appears to have a horizontal isotope. So we can see that the horizontal isotope is the line y is equal to 0. And it also appears to have a vertical isomptote, which would be the line x is equal to 0. So what about the orientation? If you'd like to know the orientation, you can use Desmos in the following way. You can enter your set of parametric equations again, but now change the parameter from t to some other letter, such as a, and you can uh, choose to click the label, uh, it will just label it. But when you do that, it will give you the option of having a slider. So when you enter this again, it will give you, before you see the label and all of that, it will ask if you would like to have a slider. So click yes, I would like to have a slider. And that would allow you to see the graph being traced uh, from t is equal to whatever you choose it to be. Uh, let's go from t is equal to negative 2 to t is equal to positive 1. So now having done that, you can click on play here to play the animation, and you can see that the curve is traced from right to left. So that would be the orientation of the curve from right to left. And if you'd like to label some points that are on the curve corresponding to various values of the parameter, uh, you can have Desmos do that for you by entering a list. Uh, here I'm using B, and B will be composed of negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. I have an, a list with four elements. And what you can do is you can enter your parametric equations again. Uh, just change the parameter to B, and you enter a, a set of parametric equations as an ordered pair in Desmos and click label. And when you do that, you're going to have the coordinates of four points on the graph corresponding to the four values of the parameter when the parameter is negative 2, negative 1, 0, and 1. And you see that. If you would like to make it more apparent, you can change the color to black. And that's what you see there.